Tom, how are we doing? I'm doing great, thanks. And welcome everybody to um, Mike and Tony back again with the Think to Thrive video broadcast for this week. How have you been? Very good, thanks Mike. And thinking a bit about what we can share today um, with our viewers. And if it's okay for you, I'd like to share with our viewers some of the most important, useful tips that you've shared with me okay. and that I've shared with you that we can then share with our viewers. Mm -hmm. Because as you know, I've come to see you quite a few times with, <laughs> in fact, a few, you know, real, real um, uh, dilemmas, if you like, mm. wrong thinking sometimes. Nobody's perfect. And you've either said one sentence or a quote very, very calmly that's corrected me and put me back on. Helped you out. So, vice versa as well. Yeah. So, can I share that first yeah, one? So, the first one, everybody, that Mike uh, has shared, shared with me, this is a long time ago, great phrase, phrase, phrase for you to remember is, is that thought serving me? So, Mike, would you like to explain what that means? Yeah. So. I think it was from, I'm trying to remember which book um, I coined that frame from. It may be one of the Pauline's Hills books, but regardless, um, the idea there is that moment to moment we're constantly thinking about certain things, things that are good, things that are bad, things that are indifferent. And what you have to raise your awareness and raise your understanding to um, come to appreciate is that if a thought comes into your mind, it's basically how you interpret that particular thought. So the first question I often ask is that, is this thought moving me forward? So for example, it may be that you have a bill that comes, from, comes through from the utilities or credit card or the council tax or whatever it is. And then you may be in a position where you're thinking, right, how am I going to pay for this bill? Or what happens if I can't pay for it? Or is it going to affect my credit score? Or uh, what am I going to do? Or I can use this money from elsewhere to pay for it and then I could... There are thoughts that may come into your head at any particular stage. But if you took a pause or a step back, took a breath and then thought to yourself, are those thoughts or is this thought serving me? you come to the conclusion that it's not helping. You want to be thinking about any situation and circumstance in a positive or constructive way that's going to move you forward. So when the bill comes through and you may not have that money at the time to pay for it, rather than thinking worst case scenario, mm -hmm. pause and think, well, maybe if I ask this person for help or maybe if I actually phone up the company and say, could you give me an extra 28 days to, there is always a solution mm. that's found within the problem. So rather than dissecting the problem, step back and think, is this particular thought serving me? Is it helping me move forward? If it's not, put that thought aside and start to think of thoughts that perhaps are gonna move you forward, are gonna help you to find a, a solution. And, and also that gets better with practice as well, doesn't practice, it? Because absolutely. viewers, when you start off with this idea of, is that thought serving me? At first it's hard, but if you keep practicing and you keep practicing, you'll get better and better at it. For example, I've been listening to uh, abundance meditations recently, twice a day, sometimes three times a day. But I realized if I made that into a habit, it would become automatic and it's now serving me because everywhere I look, I keep looking for abundance and then the abundance arrives. So very, very powerful. It's true. Um, it should be taught at school early on, shouldn't it, Mike? No, it's it's true, that? it's like that saying, isn't it? Um, energy flows where focus goes. Yeah. So if you're focusing on abundance, you're gonna look around you yeah. and see flowers, you can yeah, see the birds true. are singing, yeah. the sun is out, life is good. On the flip side of that, if you're thinking lack, yeah. need, detachment, yeah. well, yeah. unfortunately, you're going to see more of that. And it's a very key skill to develop because it is a skill because naturally, as you mentioned, if it was something that we were taught at a young age, like reading, like maths, so on and so forth, obviously, as you get older, those, the, those skills develop. You get better reading as you get older. Yeah. You get more... Uh, uh, equipped to do mathematical sums as you get older and so on and so forth. So if we were told to think 
in a way that would serve us? Is this thought serving me? Am I thinking in a way that's going to move me forward? As you get older, by the time you get to our grand old age. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> You'll be a master. <laughs> this reminds me actually of something that uh, I heard Bob Proctor say the other day. It is great. And he said, man's only failing is his, his lack of understanding that he can control his consciousness, mm -hmm. where his consciousness focus. So it's not the outside world's problem. It's man's lack of controlling mm. that f conscious focus, which I thought was really, really powerful. That's the only thing we need to master. Yeah, Bob talks about in one of his meditations about man's inability to, aware, to be aware of his ability to create his, his potential is limitless, absolute limitless. And that lack of awareness, the lack of awareness is what holding man's back. Not his lack of potential, his lack of awareness. And um, learning to understand about the power of thoughts, as we talk about in our Think to Thrive program, is, uh, is key to moving forward and living a life that is truly fulfilled and you get desire for them and you get uh, maximum potential for it. It's all about your state of awareness. And I think that's important to remember. So. Yeah, very so. good. If you find these video blogs interesting and you would like to find out more, then just uh, check out wethinktothrive.com where you will find out more information about how you can truly thrive with the way you think and the way that you interact with the world around you. Yeah, we'd love to hear your thoughts as well. Leave us a comment below. Let us know what you think about the power of thinking. Is those thoughts that you're currently thinking do you find that they are serving you or helping you move forward or they're hindering you and holding you back? Leave us a comment below and as Tony says, check us out at wethinktothrive.com where you can download your free success audio that Tony has created. Okay, until next time, to your success. To your success. Mm -hmm.